students today we can see the types of movement of water into the root cells this is the lesson number advanced science transportation in plants and circulation animal unit 14 okay before that and all 12 13 and completed so now we will go for the 14th lessons in this lesson already I have, uh, in record class i sent this what is diffusion the um, so you have to check it so we go for the new chapter uh, that is transport in plants so in this lesson we can study about the plants how it will be transported this we have to discuss okay uh, in that plants um, distribution uh, it leads to the perfect absorption diffusion method in this method and all we are how we can understood easily in that good example is um, you in your home so you have a water purifier is there in that purifier what is the method it is involved in that that is the diffusion method okay in the based on which method it will be moving you know that is the diffusion method okay the movement of the molecule in liquid and solid from the region of the higher concentration to the lower concentration without the utilization of energy is called diffusion okay so this is the methodology next pathway of water absorbed by roots the root hair is very very important in the every root tips with the root hairs it will be absorbing the water so it uh, if you absorb the water only the plant will be moving or in the plant will grow so pathway absorbed water once the water enter into the root hairs the concentration is very very important then only the root hair absorbing water and it will be transferred to the stems and leaves and each part of the plant and it will be grow next so there are types of movements is there root cells what are they apoplastic pathway sympoplastic pathway important question no time apoplastic pathway it is a apoplastic movement of the water aqueous exclusively through the intercellular spaces and the walls of the cell apoplastic movement does not involve the crossing the cell membrane this movement is depend on the gradient and sympoplast pathway is a movement the water travels through the cells the cytoplasmic intercellular movement is through the plasma temata water enter the cells through the cell membrane hence the movement is relatively slower movement is the again down a potential gradient okay so this is the transpiration transpiration is the reproduct of the water in plant through the stomata in the leaves stomata are open in the day and closed at night the opening and closing the stomata is due to the changes in turgidity of the growth guard cells when the water cells enter into the sun the target and the stoma open when the guard cells water it become the flagellum in the stomata close what will happen in that so you have to check in the transpiration what is the transpiration means take a one plant and that plant you have to cover in the one palting cover okay plant in that after that we what we will do in happen in that so sunlight is not enter into that how it will be close the stomata and everything so if you add water what and all you have to do that in that the same process you have to do it and see that in the cover the palatine cover the evaporation is there. that the evaporation taking time the water will be transpirated that drop drops cell. see this the picture in this plastic bag and the plastic bag only now i told that so if you are called as the plastic or polythene cover whatever it is you can cover it you know so see there's a small small drop is there in this drop only the transpiration is the proved the transpiration was proved in this drops okay what will happen evaporate the water what uh, that much if it will be taking out the water and remaining water will be evaporated so it is the evaporate how is taken mesophyll cells underline the word the water evaporate from the mesocell so from the open of the stomata stomata where is present in the cell in the leaves okay the lower water concentration of the mesocells as a result the water drawn into these cells from the xylem present in the veins the xylem phloem already we have studied in the advanced science in 12th lesson okay mama the present the veins through the process of asthmasis so important to mark question underline that what is asthmasis more what is done in the cells from the xylem present in the veins through the process of asthmasis the, what is the like, leaves will last of the water pressure is created the top and pull more water the xylem to the mesophyll so this process is called transpiration pull next to mark question transpiration pull okay so uh, you didn't read about the public examination only book back question alone so inside also it's having question means you can note down and you have to thorough it it will be helpful for the to mark this extends up to the root causing the roots absorb more water from the side to inside the continuous flow of the water from the root of the leaves okay so transpiration is affected by the several external factors and the percentage of the open of the stomata and water status so everything it is a 
important important of transpiration no down it's a four mark question create the transpiration full of transport of water and supply the water of photosynthesis transport mineral from the soil to all parts of the plant cool the surface of the leaves by the evaporation keep the cell turgid and hence maintain their shape so next class we can see next thank you students